Okay. I have videos for you. Okay. Now, this is all uh, Dan Schneider shows. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm sure most people do. Dan Schneider, I don't think, has been, like, charged with anything. But he had very intense scenes with children, actors, like, He minors. had scenes with? Like, like, he directed these scenes and, like, told them what to do and all that. He was the creator and director of the show, Dan Schneider. And so there's a lot of feet. There's a lot of, like, sexual innuendos. There's a lot of things that, like, number one, these actors shouldn't have gone through on screen so imagine what happened behind the scenes this is what uh, Jeanette McCurdy talks about a lot what is this show well these have clips from I believe it's iCarly and Victorious okay I've never seen them those are my generation um yeah we're gonna start off with Ariana Grande the poor thing on okay. Victorious being wild yeah. stoned this is what rose her to fame by the way this show like a sentence and thought to yourself wow like I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words what the hell said. is she holding in her hand one. So now, just for it's fun, I'm going to say toy. three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. The feet Sentence number one. Oh, ma'am, yeah. the uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See? That could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet! Quick, somebody bring me the ocean! No one would What? I don't even know what she's talking about. Yeah, no, you don't you won't ever get in contact with these. <laughs> They were like shorts they played at the end of the show, right? Okay. And uh, yeah, but in every single one, she, I mean, they're saying stuff out, that's outrageous because it's a kid's show, right? Yeah. But at the same time, what is she doing? Right. Why is he having her do this? Say that. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. <laughs> I just mean I give you a minute to recoup because <laughs> that's a, yep. There's a lot of stuff like that in his shows. A lot of feet, a lot of it happening, huh. a uh, lot of it. It's uh oh god. She wanted to be. Fa I mean, look at where she's at now. Why did her mom let her do that? Why did Jeanette McCurdy's mom let her do that? Because they had a show afterwards, the two of them. Munchausen? I don't know. But they had a show together after that. They, She was on this show. Jeanette was on the other show. And then they did one called Sam and Cat. The actors chose to no longer work this on is that like, show. This is like girls <laughs> putting inside jokes I for other girls in their shows. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the actress's name was, but I guess she was like hosting protests outside of Nickelodeon, calling them sexual predators, coming at them for endorsing it. But it's true. Like, this is wild. If you can get juice... From a potato. Is it possible for what? a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Mm, I'm thirsty. It's not possible. This has been me in a video. Uh, ah! Come on, give up the juice. Ah! What the f <laughs> What the f right? You want to know why my generation's so f***ed up, eh? We literally watched shows that were written by predators for predators. Because can you not see how this was a chomo show? Oh my god! First of all, it all starts at home. <laughs> this, this, hang on. She'd yeah. never been approved by her mother. This is what happens when too many people trust the woke, like, men of the world. I have a different take, but continue. Who like to work with children. Women need to wake the f up! I'm convinced it's not even Moms, that. Moms, wake up! They know. They have to know. They have to know. I, I'm, so I'm convinced. Them. No, no, no. I'm convinced they just want to be f***ing famous and have the money. Because I guarantee you if my mom could have pushed me out there and no, no Living one... vicariously through your own child. Yeah. yeah that sounds real sad. Oh, you mean my child's going to make millions of dollars and I can make them give it to me because they're not of age to have a bank account? I have to be a guardian on there? Just, uh... So they will let their kid okay. go through this terrible okay. thing because they don't have to go through it, number one, and they reap the benefits. Well, mommy one day is going to wake up with a crazy child. Because what happens usually is these children end up one of two ways. Like, on drugs, prostituting, dead, or they become murderers. Well, you have Jeanette McCurdy. Very, that's, that's, beep. 
You always wanted to. Beep. That's like a <laughs> kernel of rice. No, but there, there are a few people who have been speaking out, gratefully, fortunately so, against this. I really just am convinced she, you get kids that end up writing stuff like, I'm glad my mom died. Because, <laughs> like, they can see it. Look at poor Aaron Carter. Look at people like that. I really, truly believe it's just for the money. Just for the money. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, kind of, but I am curious at the opinion of others, what, what they have to say, what, what their opinion is. When I say that I question any man who wants to be around children all the time. Yeah, I mean, you should. I mean, it's just not normally what they want. Because I think of it this way. If the facts say that a man thinks about sex every eight seconds and he's spending a lot of time around children, (coughs) I really have to question that. It's true. And that is just realistic. It's just how your brain works. That's not like that's not even being like negatively negative at all. That's just being realistic about the world. There are bad things in the world. People don't want to acknowledge that they exist. They they don't want to acknowledge that the really bad stuff exists. Only like the little little bad stuff, you know, yeah. the the misgendering stuff. Yeah. The, that's the real bad stuff in the world to them. Not not the who are doing the drag shows. Because they don't, they, they. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, like that would never happen. No, none of that bad stuff would ever happen. Even though happen. it's actively happening. All right. So you were spoon fed as a child. Can I ask you a question? Were you, did you have a silver spoon in your mouth as a child? Did you ever get spanked? A spatula? We both grew up in small schools. So how many teachers do you know that were men that ended up either having accusations or going out with a student? Um, well, I knew of one specifically. I did too. And this was in the 90s. And this is in the 20s, 2010s. I knew one specifically who was sleeping with a couple of students and was a shop teacher. Mine was Funny the art enough. teacher. Mine was the middle school art teacher. In surrounding schools around us, there was like a gym teacher and like other teachers Stuff like that. So. so are you wrong to question And these were that. just the ones that got caught. That's what I mean. Point is, like, yeah. children are involved with too many sexualized things. Amen, sister. That's what the point is. Now, this is, you know. This is another one. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. More Dan Schneider. Christmas in heaven. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Like, they're just willingly <laughs> sending him chomo stuff. <laughs> the, these kids were convinced to go on to this website for kids and send him videos because he'd put him in there. There was also a tweet I saw where he was telling people to send them and he'd retweet and follow these kids. Oh, listen, listen, listen. I looked up some, I, I did some research the other day. Yeah. Yes, I did. And it says that in every community, 3% of them are chomos and 96% of chomos are men. Biological men out of the womb with penises men. Natural born. Can't Natural born. Can't say that. Homegrown. <laughs> well, if you listen here, I'll tell you all about it. So the people <laughs> who are the people who are out there doing the thing. Uh oh, you're slipping into danger today. <laughs> Might want to back it up a little bit. Always gotten A's in music. How does a person go from an A to a D? Happened to me in eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Well, yes. Do you have a girlfriend? No. You have a credit card. Yeah. Why don't you call me sometime? Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll go buy a phone. It's like my kid Molly. Oh, it's uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, just wait. No, 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 no. You two were fighting, and you yanked Festish right out of his grub truck, and now he's in the hospital. I just wanted a tamale. Well, you went and broke his tamale making arm, so now what? We're sorry. Yeah, well, until Festus is out of the hospital, you two are going to work the grub truck. Wait, oh, Trina. Have you ever seen that SNL uh, skit with uh, Chris Kattan? 
Where he was a like a monkey dude. I'm getting vibes. I'm getting vibes. Yeah, he's kind of like hunched I'm over getting, the table there. <laughs> I'm getting a sense that he went with this. Uh, the other adult actors don't seem to be nearly as chomo y as the director is. They, they, they seem like they're like, I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. I'm going to flush it on. No. No. No! So we all know what that means, but, you know, it's a kid's show, so kids laugh because they don't know kids. any better. <laughs> they don't know any Yeah, they have they're no idea. They're not supposed to know, yeah. but you're not supposed to be... St- hey, th- th- it's like an inside joke for these chonos. When it was, when it was it's an car- inside joke for these... Let's see how much we can get away with. <laughs> when it was with cartoons, you're not putting actual minors at risk. You're just drawing it. Because uh, there's so many cartoons. Like, even Rugrats had some, like, anyone knows in the background, right? But these are actual people <laughs> who have actual things going on behind the scenes. And we're just, they, they never, they never even kind of let anyone know that because, of, and, I mean, everything they went through. They yeah. offered Jeanette, Jeanette McCurdy a uh, NDA, and she refused it because she was not letting this shit slide. Because they wanted them to sign NDAs. So, that was my childhood. Yeah. Got any, uh, that's Dan Schneider for you. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Disney was not as bad when I was a kid. They were a little bit... <laughs> they were more like stupid, wholesome family jokes, whereas this was like... These, these, these poor kids, man. They they will do so much just because they want to be famous, and uh, it just shows with all the, all the people who are finally speaking about it. It's just so sad. And on, on that note, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below for what we should react to next time.